The Hot Zone, a terrifying true story, is a non-fiction thriller by Richard Preston that vividly recounts the emergence and the horrifying effects of the Ebola virus. The narrative primarily follows the outbreak of the virus in the late 1980s and early 1990s, elaborating on the grave risk it posed to humanity. The book is divided into four parts, The Shadow of Mount Elgon, The Monkey House, Smashdown, and Keatham Cave. Part 1, The Shadow of Mount Elgon, introduces us to the natural habitat of the Ebola virus, the African rainforest, and specifically Keatham Cave on Mount Elgon, a hotspot for various infectious diseases. Preston weaves a story that begins in 1980 with the French expatriate Charles Monet, who contracts the virus after visiting the cave. Monet's gruesome symptoms are depicted in graphic detail, leading to his eventual death at Nairobi Hospital. His case is handled by Dr. Mao, Shem Musoki, who miraculously survives after being infected while treating Monet. The narrative then shifts to the discovery of the Ebola virus by scientists, who identify its lethality and the dire nature of the threat. The virus has a cousin, Marburg, which presents similar symptoms and is equally deadly. The origin of these filoviruses remains a mystery, sparking worldwide concern. Part 2, The Monkey House, focuses on a 1989 incident in Reston, Virginia, where an imported shipment of monkeys at a research facility becomes ill with a mysterious disease. It is eventually identified as a strain of Ebola, which leads to the involvement of the United States Army Medical Research Institute of Infectious Diseases, USAMRIID, a civilian biohazard operation led by the experienced Jerry Jocks and his wife Nancy Jocks, both of whom work for USAMRID, is initiated to contain the outbreak. The Jaxes and their team enter the facility in full biohazard suits, facing the dual risks of viral infection and attack by the panicked primates. The Reston facility is found to be infected with a form of Ebola that is deadly in monkeys but, to the relief of everyone, does not appear to affect humans. During this crisis, the bravery and pragmatism of those containing the outbreak are highlighted, as is the fragility of human life in the face of potential pandemics. Part 3, Smashdown, details the rigorous efforts to contain and understand the virus. The Army team, including the Joxes, euthanizes the infected animals to prevent further spread of the disease. They clash with the difficult reality that they must destroy many lives to save others. The emotional toll on the scientists and the military personnel involved is palpable. The possibility of mutation of the virus into a form transmissible to humans is an ever-present worry. The rest in operation involves clandestine maneuvers, as the team covertly transports the monkey carcasses for autopsy and disposal, striving to keep the event out of the media to avoid public panic. As the facility is disinfected and the crisis is deemed over, new challenges emerge with disposing of infected material. The success of the operation is a result of the meticulous and brave actions of the team involved. Preston uses this opportunity to delve deeper into the science behind the virus and the precautions necessary when dealing with such lethal pathogens. Part 4, Keetum Cave, revisits the question of the origins of the Ebola virus as Preston describes his own visit to Keetum Cave. Wearing protective gear, he enters the same environment that previously claimed the life of Charles Monet. Preston reflects on how natural environments like these can harbor deadly viruses. The book concludes with the somber realization that Ebola and other deadly viruses are constantly evolving, with Ebola Reston being only one mutation away from becoming a virus transmissible between humans. Preston discusses the natural reservoir of the virus, which is suspected to be bats. He surmises that these outbreaks are bound to recur and that the detection and scientific understanding of Ebola remain incomplete and underfunded. The recognition of humanity's vulnerability to viral hemorrhagic fevers, including Ebola, serves as a sobering reminder that new outbreaks can emerge at any time, with potentially catastrophic consequences for the human population. Throughout the narrative, Preston provides chilling journalistic detail on the clinical progression of viral infection highlighting hemorrhagic fever's devastating impact on the body. He offers insightful looks into the lives of scientists and military personnel who confront these dangers. The interconnectedness of global health is revealed, as the spread of a virus in one part of the world holds implications for the entire planet. 
Preston's account serves as a grave warning and a call to action to prioritize global health security. By intertwining individual stories with the broader issues of emerging infectious diseases, the hot zone elucidates the fearsome power of nature and the perpetual struggle of science and medicine to keep pace with the ever-changing landscape of viral pathogens. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.